This is the Cook Aquaculture employees feeding their Atlantic salmon at one of the seven pens outside my home. And at the same time, you have one person fishing off the other side of the boat, bringing in some of the some of the local fish, most likely mackerel, onto the onto the same boat that they're feeding from. With all the concern about farmed salmon catching diseases from native or wild fish, you'd think that bringing the wild fish on board the feeding boat and being handled by the same people that are feeding the penned salmon, that uh, you might consider that to be a potential problem. So is this practice acceptable to either Cook or the Department of Fisheries? Considering we end up paying for any losses, isn't that taking risks not only with the spreading of diseases but uh, with our tax dollars too? And as you can see, there is no monitoring, there's no underwater camera, nothing to tell them if they're putting in too little feed or too much to know how much waste there is or to know how much food falls right through the pen. They have no idea. It seems like the only thing they have to go on is they'll feed each pen a certain number of tubs of food in a certain number of hours. Here the employees have been cleaning the fish that they caught earlier this morning and throwing the unused parts, the guts, into the ocean in between the farmed salmon pens where the currents will take it directly to the farmed salmon. Now they spotted me filming and decided that what they're doing might not be a good idea. So they've stopped cleaning. The other thing they're doing by throwing the fish guts into the water is attracting a huge number of seagulls. Not only is there constant squawking annoying to us, that wasn't here before the pens arrived. But I'm sure it's only adding to their workload because they already have to take time out of their day to remove seagulls from inside the pens. And now when they've attracted at least five times the normal number of gulls, the odds of getting seagulls inside the pens has increased. It has to have. The odds are they'll just end up wasting more of their time removing birds from the pens. And then they 
want me to wonder how seagulls get in the pens. Mm -hmm. Good God. Film for Nell and the Premier, and the fisheries, fisheries minister. So you can tell by the seagulls that uh, they're carrying on with the cleaning and gutting of the fish that they caught. And they've just decided to move to a location where I can't film them. You can see they're back at work at their cleaning table. <laughs> 